Hi guys, welcome to Tim's Garage. This is the first video that we're actually doing on the Ford Territory. Now, my wife, this is our new family car, and my wife wanted a seven seater, but we couldn't find one in our price range. What we're able to do is buy a five seater Territory, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to refit a five seater Territory into a seven seater. This job is a little bit more advanced than some of the other stuff we do. So what we've done is we've got a full trim here. We've gone down to the wreckers first and we've grabbed an entire centre trim for a Ford Territory. This is, there's the rear seats right there. You can see we've got um, folded up. There's the third row of seats. Um, this came with door skins and everything else that we may not need, but it's kind of nice to have them. We've also on this, we've got two spare driver seats. So. At the end of this, we may be able to sell the old kit as a, um, a complete kit. You can see it's quite dirty. The reason this is dirty is that's where our, we bought some side steps as well, which we'll show in another video. There they are. Uh, that's where they were lying. When we brought them back from the wreckers yesterday, they were quite dirty. So for this, we're going to need quite a number of tools. The best thing about this job is that it's, it's all inside in the back of the, the car. So we don't have to worry about getting under it or jacking up or axle stands or anything. It's all interior stuff. Um, we are going to need some tools. We're going to need a good set of sockets for this one. Um, a lot of this use, uses Torx heads. So you're going to need a set of those for this. Um, good quality screwdrivers for bits and pieces. Really, if you can, grab some air tools. We're going to be using some, um, some of our air ratchets and that kind of stuff for this. And if I need more tools, I'll tell you as we go. Trim removal tools will also be a great idea. You can see these little pop-out bits of plastic behind there is just a screw. So we're going to pull those off, remove the screws um, both sides and we should be able to get the side trims off. Once the side trims are off, then we can start working on um, yeah, getting some of the, the floor trims off. Then we'll get the back seats out and then we'll start the bit of a clean up and install a new one. So, I'm just taking off one, that one's the one that said airbag, two, three, all the screws behind it now, that should fairly simply come free, um, we'll work on that a little bit, and then we'll then we start working on this bottom one, that'll come up, then we just did the same for the other side, um, all fairly simple stuff. Um, then we'll work on taking out this.
seats, um, seat belts and the chairs and those things fit back onto those. We also need to, this carpet, we need to replace that with another piece of carpet. Um, the gear with the subby, the rear speaker and stuff. Um, yeah, it's all looking like it should. It's going pretty well. It's not taking that long, to be honest. And down here at the front, we've got to um, undo some screws there. Simple as that. <laughs> it's ridiculously hard to do this. Anyway, um, the only thing to pull out now is this section of carpet. So this piece of carpet here needs to be changed over because of, I think the next piece of carpet actually comes back further because of that back seat. So we'll pull out that bit of carpet. Actually what I might do is First, I'm just going to give that a vacuum, give it a really good clean up just so that I'm not pulling out a dirty carpet that I've got to vacuum later. Um, we'll pull that out, give that a bit of a, a tidy up, um, put all the bolts somewhere nice, ready to go, and then, um, yeah, then we'll start getting the next part and just do the exact reverse. So, we're going to put the, the carpet in, um, then we'll put the seats, and then we'll um, We'll put the back seat in, or put the back liner and back seats in, and we'll sort of just do the whole thing and reverse them. I'm not sure, I think I might actually have to remove those bolts that are on there on the five seater right now, but just in case that's holding something, I don't know enough about the territories at the moment. I'm still uh, fairly new to this format. Um, I'm not going to undo that just in case, you know, something like the subframe drops out of the car or something all of a sudden, or if it drops. Um, one thing I did notice though, which I'm pretty happy about, is when I was chatting to the guys at the wreckers, oh no, maybe they were right. Yeah. You can see these have got, the bolts are, are there, they're ready to go, but they're actually not tapped, so the bolts will have to tap themselves as we put them in there for the seat belts. And that's where the seat belt unit fits, because it's all there, ready to go. So um, I'm actually going to start pretty early on that, because I am. Um, I don't want to get halfway through and realise that I didn't do it, so yeah. So I'm going to get this a vacuum, but I'm going to mount our seat belts first. They're made for it, so it's not all that tricky, but this fits in this space. The groove. All fits in really nicely. Let's get a closer shot of that for you. So you can see this just fits in really nicely there. Lines up the groove. Pop it in the groove. The bolt goes there, same there. This one. That will just fit in there. So the reel fits in the cavity. If that makes sense. So we're um, 
we're definitely learning on the job here. That plate. Um, so this plate is going to have to come out for um, for that to screw in. That plate's just not going to fit quite right. So we're going to undo. We'll remove that. Hopefully that'll just drop in really nicely. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. But at the moment, that doesn't seem to want to fit with the, the, the sliding back seat. So we can't seem to get that in. I'll try a little bit more and see if we can get that to line up. If not, we'll just remove the plate and see if that will fit the bracket better and we'll go from there. Just the same as the front, just reverse process, undo the bolts, put the bolts back on at the front. Um, I'd recommend lining up the back bolts first. There is a um, bit of tape over the back two bolts you've got to remove. Inside of the car, we've just loosely done up that one there. Just loosely done up that bolt. Um, and where we're aiming for though is, is there you can see there's two bolts sticking up right, and this will fit on that. It's actually got a um, tongue on the end of there, which is great. So I'm um, Means we just make sure everything's lined up. Tongue fits that way. A couple of bolts on that. And um yeah, and that one's in. Then um yeah we can go from there with the other stuff we need to do with that seat. If that's good, that's um yeah looking excellent. Yeah, pretty happy with it so far, so that's that with a lot of trimmings and stuff to put back on, but at the moment, so we just lifted that seat in, put the back bit in, put a couple of bolts in to hold it in place. Um, the back, you know, there's, there's nothing really there yet. Got to give it all clean up. This thing is covered in sand, as you can kind of see. But um, yeah, looking good. Alrighty, back into it. I'll say it just in case. We're just doing the reverse of what we did to pull everything off, basically. Um, but with, with some exceptions, things like these trims, you know, this is um, you know, just going over the, the nuts and bolts and stuff. Just want to make sure we give everything a clean if we can as we go, because just might pull a vacuum cleaner into here again. Um, yeah, this place is covered in sand. I don't know what is the beach or what, but wow, it's everywhere. So we'll just give it a bit more of a once over with that. Um, and obviously, there'll be because of the way the seats are organized, there'll be um, covers that go over all this stuff too. But it's all pretty, pretty good. it up for the um the territory <laughs> uh, seven seater conversion oh, I'm wrecked that was um that was a long day just in the the heat the job itself wasn't too bad but the heat was something else so um yeah 
seats are in, job's done, easy to do it in one day, how to make, you smash in a few hours. Um, yeah, need to fix up the, the actual um, the seat belts in the back weren't right, something happened to those units and they weren't working, so we need to get that sorted out. Um, the other thing we need to get sorted out with this is I didn't get some of the covers on that go over the clips over the seat rails but hopefully this gives you an idea of where to start and you can problem solve problem solved like I'm gonna have to over this on how to get some of those other screws in some of the guards over it so when you've got the seven seater there's no exposed sliders or anything for your kids feet and stuff but um yeah it was good pretty happy with that um, I'm going to change these over to this, the original, this is two parts on the sides. I want to change these back to the original. These are just really, really scratched up, the ones that we got from the records. So we'll get that, um, you can keep those and just change the top ones because the top ones are the ones that have got the slot for the seatbelt and the, the bung for the, the other part, the lap sash sort of connection on that too. But um, yeah, pretty happy with that one. So. Just wish it wasn't so darn hot. I'm gonna go inside, cool off, have a shower, and um, see you next time, Tim's Garage. Next video, we're gonna put some side steps on this thing, some um, which we call to slowly get in this car the way to what I'd like it to be. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.